How to find the right amount of dog food for your dog. Learning how to find the right amount of dog food for your dog is an important step to ensure your pet's optimal health. The reason is that dogs will eat whatever their owners put out regardless of the quantity. Feeding your dog too little every day causes him to be deficient in important nutrients that could otherwise keep him bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Likewise, feeding your dog more than necessary can result in obesity and other related issues, such as, osteoarthritis, cruciate ligament ruptures, congestive heart failure, difficulty breathing, skin disorders. According to the American Kennel Club, the easiest way to gauge the right amount of dog food is to weigh your dog. A good rule of thumb is to feed one-third cup of dog food for every 10 pounds of body weight. Factors to consider. Although kibble bags and canned food provide feeding charts, it isn't cut and dried as you might think. Guidelines vary considerably, depending on the manufacturer. That is why many dogs are still gaining weight even though their owners follow the recommended amount on the label. About 56% of dogs in the United States are obese, says the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention. Age. The caloric requirements of a puppy vary greatly compared to an adult or senior dog. Since puppies develop rapidly, they need to eat more than adult dogs. Proper nutrition during puppyhood is crucial in developing strong bones, lean muscles, and well-functioning organs. For example, Puppies lacking in a specific amount of calcium in their diet are predisposed to metabolic bone disease and arthritis. Body size. Large adult breeds will often require more calories per day compared to small and medium breeds. To make the process easier, feed your canine buddy a breed-specific dog food that fits his health and conformation requirements. Large puppy breeds also have different dietary requirements. Puppy food for large breeds is less energy dense so that the pups can grow at a rate that won't hurt their bones and joints. Otherwise, the bones can grow too quickly and become weak and unstable. Activity level. Feeding your pet the maximum amount can lead to unhealthy weight gain if his exercise levels are low. Even dogs within the same breed may have different dietary requirements because of metabolism and pre-existing health conditions that could affect your dog's mobility. Medical condition. It is important to consult your veterinarian if your dog suffers from health conditions, such as urinary stones, kidney disease, and heart problems. Only your veterinarian can determine the type of diet and most accurate number of calories your pooch should be getting. Reproductive status. Giving your mum to be all the food she wants is okay, especially during the first month of lactation. However, free feeding is not recommended for multiple dog households because it is difficult to track each dog's intake. Other considerations. Most often, pet parents portion out their dog's food using a regular cup from the dishwashing rack. The amount of treats is also another thing that pet parents often forget to account for. Keep treats to 10% of your dog's caloric requirements. How often should you feed your dog? Sticking to a feeding schedule encourages good behavior in dogs. If an adult dog needs two cups of food per day and you want to feed him twice, you can portion that out to one cup in the morning and one cup in the afternoon. On the other hand, puppies need small meals throughout the day while they transition from their mother's milk to solid food. Toy breed pups will need four to six meals per day during the first three months. Medium breed pups will require three meals per day, and large breed pups need three to four meals per day. Small, frequent meals make it easier for puppies to digest their food properly and keep energy levels consistent.